Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Have you tried using chicken for catfish bait? And have you wondered, does it only catch channel catfish? Will it catch blue catfish? Will it even catch a flathead? Well, in this video, we're going to try to answer some of those questions as I go fishing on Sandy Cooper with Jimmy from Fishing and Gear Outdoor Entertainment here on YouTube. The massive chicken. He's got these little flimsy rods. He's used yeah, to using I, his big B and M rods, pool cues. I don't think he's a big guy because just because the rod. Well, we just got the chicken. He got off. Oh. Actually, I thought he was on there because of the, oh. the action of the, the rod. The, I think that. we need to switch to my hook. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Let's switch them and see if that makes rigs. a difference. He obviously has half of a chicken. <laughs> we're gonna put on <laughs> his rig, pitch. and you've got a demon dragons on yours yeah. too, right? Yeah. So we're gonna put his hooks on. We're gonna see if it makes a difference. He already does not like my boat, and was <laughs> my rig, my hooks are too small. Upgrade on the hooks and the rigs. <laughs> and I just happened to bring three. Just happened that. to bring three. <laughs> oh, okay. ding, ding. Make some noise, baby. There we go. We better, we better change things up right here. We've got your sinkers on here. Got the sinkers. Tell me about the sinkers. What are they called again? Santee Drifters, snag release sinkers. It's got a release feature. Sinker gets snagged up at 10 pounds of pressure to pop loose. Very cool. How do people find them? Uh, SanteeDrifters.com or you can put hashtag SanteeDrifters. As always, I'll put you a link down in the description below where you can check them out and get them. Especially if they start catching fish here, you're going to want to buy them. <laughs> Since you've got this light line, I'm going to go six wraps. Yes, yes. Six I, wraps. I usually go about four or five of them. <laughs> He's running, how big? 80 pound line? 80 pound liter. How big is the line on your boat? 50? 60. 60, 60 pound line on his I'm stuff. I'm expecting a world record. He's not going to know how to act if he catches a 15 pound fish on one of these rods. <laughs> Put that big old mama piece of chicken on there. <laughs> See now we talk. Are you now feeling we, better? Do you now feel? Now we got some wiggle room. Do you feel better yeah. now? Are you feeling better already? Okay. You know that twist that we missed on your small hook. That could have been. That could have been something nice. That could have been a state record. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's gonna <laughs> guilt me into it here. He's also now. I, I did sweeten the deal. The one thing I sweetened him on here. He's got the Mac Daddy reel on his side of the boat. This reel. This rig is going to get it done. You catch a 60 pound fish on that rod, you're, you're, you're going to be hurting. One thing guys, you'll learn fish enough and fish with different people. When you get off of your boat onto somebody else's, no matter how much they fish, how good they are, how new you are out of your comfort zone. It's, it's fun to have somebody like him who's a great fisherman on here getting into uh, the awkward zone. So he's going to end up catching all the fish on his side of the boat. So. Now that's the bigger version of the Demon Dragon. The ones I have tested were the smaller versions. Those, those are much larger and will float a much larger bait than the original version. I think they seem louder. It seems like the shell on them is louder, harder this, uh, or something. They tell me it's a patented mold they use. They, yeah. A lot of the copycats are just using a Zorro's cook or something. A lot louder than the original ones. Improved clinch knot? Yeah, I learned it from your channel. There you go. <laughs> it's my uh, Steve Douglas snail knot. <laughs> learned it from his channel. All right, so tell me this about that snail knot. Okay. If but you, if you, if you had to cut that hook, say you swallowed it. Okay. Can you tie another one straight on to the end there, or do you have to cut this on this end? Have to cut that probably. I'm going to convince him before the end of the day to go to the uni snail knot so he never has to cut <laughs> the other end. All right, so on? show me your rig. Show me your rig here. Okay, so Nocturnal Nation 10 aught, Whisker Seeker 80. And then you got your Demon Dragon. Now, Whisper which Demon Dragon, you know which version that is? I think they got a couple of different it versions. It just says Nocturnal Nation. Okay. Yeah, this is the Nocturnal Nation one. Okay. And then I go Swivel, and then a Quick Release Hooker's Terminal Tackle Swivel Drift Sinker goes on there. So you got some heavy, heavy weight stuff. Or how heavy is your leader? 80. Yeah. 80. Yeah. Right, look at this hook. Dragon, big piece of chicken. You ain't got no excuse now. <laughs> you have no excuse oh, whatsoever. It ain't getting off now. Okay. I gouged the eyes out on this poor little thing. <laughs> the bad part is we left that one out like of gear it. and there's like a 200 yards line out of line. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> I'll let problem, you use man. one of these rods over here. Up will you? Side. Will you let me use one I'll of your will. one of your rigs with yeah, a big old piece of chicken? Oh, <laughs> oh, he's a smack talker. I love this. Man, this is a smooth reel. It's a nice reel. It's, it's. If money was no object, that's what I would tell everybody to buy. That's one pipeline tackle worked on, did their super tune on it. I'd say cast it, those ain't the best rods for casting. You put that onto a heavier action rod with some weight and sling mm -hmm. it forever. Yeah, I noticed the lighter action, the casting is a little bit different. 
Is he liftable? Netable. Uh, I don't know. These rugs. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I, don't, I think he's liftable. I'm just looking and yeah. saying. Oh. Possibly. Maybe not. Oh, he's not hooked good, though. Hang on. Hang on. He's bigger than I thought. How many times have I said that? Good color on the fish. Yeah, that's what. That's What's what with this fancy grip, though? That ain't how we do it anymore. I, I don't. I, you know, <laughs> bloody your thumb up. <clears throat> That's how we do it in here. There we go. <laughs> Get a good shot at him. Yep. Good fat fish. You feel better now that you caught one on your big I hook? Do. And your big piece of chicken. <laughs> big piece of chicken one, big demon piece. dragon one. Dieter side, nothing. Okay, ready to get him back in? Chuck him. Okay. There you go, baby. Man doesn't like my boger grip. My boger grip is pretty. It weighed it and everything. <laughs> Saved his thumb. Once he gets an infected thumb, he'll be wanting a boger grip. You didn't grip. know you were going to invite me to fishing and get uh, you know. <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. I love it. This is fun. What are you doing with that little bitty piece of chicken now? That's about the same size. You had a half a chicken on there a minute ago. No. Uh, I think your eyes are getting big out here. It's the hooks. The hooks are making it look that's, smaller. That's what, that's it, what is. it is. The it, hooks. Yeah. Let's go about palm size. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's there. I don't know if he's as big as your fish. He hit it like he was as big as yeah. your fish. Little chicken guys don't say anything. That's a little piece of chicken. So we got him. Oh, sucker. Little one. That's probably about three pounds. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna shame me back here with his big giant. He's gonna say, I know what he's gonna say. He's gonna say, that fish would be bigger if you had a big piece of bait on it. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, oh, is he getting a little bigger? Oh, is he getting bigger? Oh, I think he just got bigger. Uh oh, he growing. They grow sometimes. He might be medible. Of course, yeah, of course, you know, it could be three pounds on these flimsy rods. This man here uses these big giant rods. Could be a three pounder, we'll see. Decent fish, decent fish. Getting our money's worth out of this one. <laughs> 10 feet down, we're right in the dip, it looks like we rolled back off this hump. Right off the side. We got the other one on the other, on the front side. He's gonna be at least three pounds. Easy. Might be a little bigger than you thought, that same size. Can I bring him to you this time? Bada bang. Bada bang. We're gonna use that silly poo boy boga grip to weigh it here in a second. Good fish. Good fish. Happy to have that one. We're good pick. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you out on his side of the boat and you can go get you a big piece of chicken, okay? <laughs> Boom. Well, there you go, guys. We're catching some fish. We're catching them on big baits. We're catching them on small baits. We are putting some fish in the boat. The bite was overall slow, but we kept on drifting this area because we knew fish were there. Is it was going on the fall, and that thing is swimming an awful lot left to right. Yeah. When I was in the ocean, I say shark. But that's an awful lot of left to right that swimming. Is, that is. How deep are we? Seven. We're seven feet. He may be trying to find deep water too. I'm gonna try to bring him to this side since he cleared the drift sock. There you go. You're good there. Boom. We'll run that one to there. Give you hold in the middle. Yeah, that's funny. He hit it on the fall. I just seen line all of a sudden go shook, shook, shook. We're gonna take bat striper. Catfish. We're only at seven feet. I'm almost yeah. saying catfish. He's trying to find deep water. I think he is too. I'm gonna stick with catfish. I think it's a decent fish. I mean, it's not a giant, but it's a decent fish. Yeah, we were right. Oh, oh, boom in the net. Nice one. Barely made 13. 
And if he would take a big poop right now, he would probably weigh 12 pounds because his belly is full of rocks. Let's muster ourselves. All right, fishy, thank you for the show. Good hit on the way down, too. Oh. Shoot back alive. Shoo. All right, folks, pay attention on this next fish. What you didn't get to see was the takedown. It was on a planer board, and I have never seen a planer board go underwater like it did with this fish. What I really want you to pay particular attention to are the rods in the background, because while I was fighting this fish, we got hooked up on another fish and didn't even realize it till the end. I have no idea what that fish is, dude. That may be a sturgeon. <laughs> I don't think they're in here. <laughs> That's a massive whatever it is. Thanks, son. That's your second beer here. He's back. That's catfish. I've never seen a planter board get buried like that. I've done it a couple times. No. <laughs> that was crazy, though. That was a crazy big one. That's a beefy plane. Of Ironically, food. look how close we are to where I caught my food, dude. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Stay back, wow. baby. Get the bugs off of me. If this is good, you owe me God's service. <laughs> <laughs> This is a good fish. I'm still not convinced it's a catfish. That was a massive run yeah, on that. Yeah. Well, he's still coming straight to you, though. He ain't going side to side. You know. That's true. I've been thinking striker. I had one out on the boat one time. Doodle, doodle, doodle. I think we got a little more control over him now. Don't come to the top. Do not come to the top. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. If you'll unclip that, I'm gonna try to keep it tight. There you go. Easy. Easy. Easy like sun and moan. Yeah, you're still hooked good. You are still hooked. Playing on this side, perfect. Work you away from the drift side. Make sure that drags loose, yeah. All right, stay down, go back down, get away from that sock. You know what, go ahead and pull it in. It's a good fish, guy. You may get a shot at him straight out the back of the boat. <laughs> there we go. You know what? He's coming back over here. Let's play him over here. It looked like a decent. I seen a little bit of color. Yeah, I seen it too. He's at least ten pounds. Yeah, I think so. Okay, you tell me when to go. Hey, he's, a big boy. he's a big boy. He's a big boy. If he wants to go down, I'm just going to let him go. And I'm walking him to you. But if you go. That's all right. I'm kind of nursing him up. Nope. Got him. Okay. He's in a net. Yes, sir. Holy a decent fish. I think he's at least eight pounds. Dude, thank you. Why am I so nervous? Because <laughs> you had the net. It's worse when it's somebody Why else's so fish, nervous? dude. <laughs> I have to get it off the cleat. There we go. Oh, Jesus. He's going to go over 30. He may have a fish on that outside the inner board. All right, what do you, is yours nettable? Yeah, I didn't get this other one too. Come on. Is that a flatty? 
Come here, come here, come here, come here. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Doubled up on Chicken some pigs. Dragon. Dude, that's a flathead. Wow. On chicken. There you go, guys. Two great fish. One in the upper 50s, one around 40. Great fish anywhere you go in the country. And both of them came on chicken. So which is better? Big pieces of chicken, small pieces of chicken? Well, it's like I've said before, guys. One trip doesn't make a determination on what is best, whether it be for a bait, a hook, a fishing rod, or your style of fishing. You got to get out there and fish. You got to try things over a long period of time to get a really good feel. Me personally, I fish with smaller pieces. Jimmy, he likes using larger pieces. The man catches fish. Go check his channel out. You'll see See him catching fish on over those bigger pieces. I fish with the smaller ones. Main reason being, I think these fish are kind of keyed in uh, on feeding on mussels when they're eating these things. So that's the way I go. That's the way I work. He does it different. The bottom line is, obviously from this video, both ways work. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no, do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.